On my last video, somebody asked me if I could show them how to link up buttons on your MIDI controller to going forward and backwards on patches for on main stage um, without having to touch your Mac. And so that's what we're gonna do now. And for this video, I'll be demonstrating on the Keylab Essential 61, but it should work with pretty much any other MIDI controller. This is how I have the buttons mapped with the forward and backwards accordingly, and then I have it marked with a label maker. So there's two ways of doing this. The first option is on any main stage concert that comes default with main stage, you're gonna have right down here, you're gonna have a patch forward and backward, just like this. And then all you would do is go over to layout and then you click this button and then click assign and then press the button that you want to be the backward and then so on and so forth for the forward button. But for the second one, I'm gonna show you how to do it manually. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two buttons and I'm gonna make them um, small here. So we're gonna make them um, so that the text doesn't really show. We don't need that. Next, we're going to click on the previous button. We're gonna do this one as the previous patch button. We're gonna click assign and then we're gonna press the button on your MIDI controller that you want to be the previous patch one. And then we're gonna click this and same thing, assign and the forward and then unclick that. All right, next we're gonna go back over to edit and we're gonna wanna be in the main concert file right here. So that's global across all the patches. We're gonna click this button right here. We're gonna click actions and we're gonna click previous patch. On this one, we'll do the same thing. Actions, next patch. And now, now when you click into here and use the patch, you can see it's skipping two. The reason it's doing that is because you already have the patch up and down so it's messing it up so if we go into here and all we even do is just delete those then we go back to here into perform and you can see it's all fixed and that's all there is to it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider liking and subscribing thanks see you